Okay. Hello again. We have some interesting things to show you concerning where to inject the hydrogen, oxygen gases into the engine. We started out by piping the gases in through a T fitting directly into the intake manifold. But then after looking at both our cars, we noticed that there were differences in the way that the engine was plumbed and how the sensors are oriented. If you look over here at the air intake, you'll notice that the Ford Escort has an airflow sensor mounted right here behind the air cleaner compartment. We've changed the location of the gas injection to the side of the airflow sensor. We have a nylon fitting threaded in here and pipe that runs back to our water trap. Water trap is fed by the hydrogen generator. The reason we have made this change is that injecting HHO gas into the intake manifold changes the pressure and tells the sensor to do something which probably is counterproductive to greater fuel economy. Piping the gas in here at the toward the beginning of the intake should not fool the sensor into doing something detrimental. That is why we've done this on the Saturn. On the Saturn we're still piping the gas in directly to the air intake manifold through a T-fitting which connects to the PVC valve. You'll notice on the Saturn it has a what's known as a MAP sensor directly connected off of the air intake manifold. So now in both cars our HHO gas is being piped in closest to that type of sensor. This is still working very well for the Saturn and at least for now we are not going to make a change. On both cars we have added a circuit to adjust the voltage coming out of the oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor on both cars is threaded into the exhaust manifold we spliced in wire, runs over to a little box that has our circuit in it. Inside the little box there is a relay which is energized by power on the hydrogen generator. So whenever the generator is turned on, the circuit is activated and a correction voltage tells the ECU to lean back the fuel. Okay, so we're on the road and we're testing the new configuration in the Ford Escort and we've reformulated the solution in the generator so that it is in a quart of water. Actually, it's, it's a total of one quart mixed with 25% rubbing alcohol and approximately three tablespoons of soda. Engine's running very smoothly right now. We've uh, even come to several stops and the engine idles perfectly well. I think it really is a, an, an advantage to be injecting the HHO gas before the butterfly in the intake because when you come to a stop and let your foot off the throttle, that butterfly closes down and it's controlling the uh, flow of outside air and HHO gases into the intake. So the 
the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And we're traveling at uh, some very slow speeds here without any ill effects. So we're going to get it, try to get it up to uh, 60 on the road up ahead. Boy, that's really wonderful power right now. I can feel the wind acceleration. Okay, we got it up to 60 and 65 now. we've got uh, plenty of power and just running great. So obviously uh, we chose the right spot to inject our HHO gas on this vehicle. And the next step is to recheck our fuel economy. We'll have, it'll take a while. We'll have to probably take a good 80 mile trip and carefully top off the fuel at the beginning and end of the trip. And we'll have to repeat this several times to verify our results.